in leadership always have a story to tell of how they claimed and continue to claim their spaces in the world of politics. The political sphere has continually been rough for women, mostly because it is inundated with violence and is highly monetized. The women in this story have overcome odds to get to the leadership positions they are occupying today. My name is Pamela Akinyo Diambo. I am an MCA Manyata B Ward and I was uh, just a local woman in a slum called Manyata B. Before she joined politics, she was selling paraffin, fish, and later sold second-hand clothes. Even with all these economic activities, Honorable Pamela would hit the campaign trail when it was election time. With all these things, when campaigns come, I quit my businesses and go to campaign. I don't know, maybe I was just having that passion. I don't know why I was doing it, but I used to quit now business to go and campaign. Then after campaigns, I go back to my business. So uh, when in, 20, in 2008, when Honorable Shakil Shabil was elected, and uh, he requested that the councillors of the various wards that form the constituencies, they bring somebody to represent the ward in CDF. So I was taken there by my councillor to represent the ward in CDF. So I was a board member in Kisumu East CDF, and I worked with Honorable Shakil Shabir. It is good that Honorable Shakil Shabir also likes working with women. We were we were about uh, six to seven women in that office. Up to date, those ladies are still there. And each and every one of them, their lives have changed. So in, 20, in 2013, now we were told to go and look for votes when you want to uh, represent a ward. So I went back, talked to my people, and I was very lucky I was elected. So people who came to elect me to go and represent them in CDF, those people told me that day that, uh, Pamela, uh, as you can see, we are very many. I believe you can one day be elected an MCA in this area. So I took it lightly. And just like the women she was representing said, it came to pass. She got nominated through the Orange Democratic Party, ODM, as a member of County Assembly, MCA. It is, however, notable that Honorable Pamela has faced her share of challenges. I don't think anybody has passed through what I've passed through. Because I'm one person that people are still uh, abusing on media, that I am illiterate. And uh, it is every day, it is something that they do every day. This illiterate woman that never went to school, you are even arrested because you are, you are having fake papers. But I believe one day I will be out of it because I, I, I have no fake paper in my life. When you have fake um, education papers, educational papers, I think uh, there is a body that checks and you cannot be taken to court to go and clarify because that body will clarify immediately and you will be charged immediately. So uh, uh, the media, the media, the media, the media, when they heard about it, we were told the same day I was arrested, another man was also arrested. But my story went for two weeks. Is it because you think you I, are a woman? Because I am a woman, they had to air my story every day. And I'm happy that the magazine was really selling. And I said, okay, I have now become a, a hero. Because when uh, you are put on magazine and people are buying, and you know you are giving money to an organization, because people get paid. They needed to get paid. They needed to be paid. So... I believe because I was a woman, and uh, you, women, when they, something affects them, it is exaggerated. 
But for men, that man, I have never heard of him. They never talked about him, even in the next, the next day. That challenge only served to strengthen her because of her positive outlook. They used to write my story, they put my pictures. But I said, well and good, when you are in politics, expect anything. You can be killed and um, the media can say anything. And uh, you are just there, provided that you had that passion of being in politics, you will be there. So I'll just ask women, we have so many challenges, but let them come out. Because uh, men are now using that as our weakness to make us sit at home. Let us come out and champion for other women also to come out and be leaders. Women are good leaders. Being a woman running for a political office in Kenya presents challenges that must be overcome. But being a woman with disability in Kenya who wants to run for office can be daunting. But Eunice Otieno, who is an aspirant in the upcoming election, has ideas how to counter issues of stigma associated with a disability in the society. Eunice works for Association of Physically Disabled in Kenya. She is also the director of Abled Differently and a role model with Cheshire Disability Services Kenya. She shares her reasons as to why she wants to run for office. The reason why I want to become an aspirant, I want to be, uh, to be an aspirant in 2022, Market Milimani Ward, uh, Kisumu County. My major aim is that I want to become a role model. I feel that in terms of inclusion, I'm empowered. And when I'm empowered, then I can translate it to the whole community so that the community can see the importance of taking a child who has a disability to school and they, are, they can also learn from me as a role model uh, in that when it comes to leadership. Because uh, when you aspire uh, and you are elected by the community, then it is easier to implement. And when you implement and you implement on the right way, then you become a role model to them. So that actually is my vision that I become a role model. To an extent, you don't need to, to take a, a parent who has a child with disability to court for her now to take the child to school. And then at the community, we practice even mini, meaningful inclusion without discrimination. When you see me, you see me as a human being, you see me as a, a woman, and you see me as somebody who can help the community and not in terms of disability. Just like Kinis has come out boldly to declare that she is running for office, Honorable Pamela encourages women who want to run for political office to come out and present themselves to their communities. You have to come out. You have to be strong. Don't think about uh, the challenges. Think about success. Think about you as a woman. Don't look um, uh, don't look side by side. Focus and say, today I am coming out as a woman and I want to lead and I'm going for it. Please go for it. Challenges are always, there even men faces so many challenges, but most of the time they don't talk about them. As women, we talk about them and that's why we have become strong. So I'm um, telling all the women who want to come to leadership to look, to, to not look back, look forward and say, here I am, I'm coming for you. Deliver for Good campaign endeavors to support women's leadership as outlined in the target number 5.5 of the Sustainable Development Goals, where it states that there is need to ensure women's full and effective participation and equal opportunities for leadership at all levels of decision making in political, economic and public life. This campaign will continue to work with partner organizations, 
to ensure women in all their diversities in Kenya get equal opportunities to take up political leadership roles in every sphere of their lives.